something we've talked about here before and I'll talk about again and I'll probably talk about again in the future as well is how do you handle that third-party auditor when they have a finding or at least a potential finding that you very strongly disagree with and oftentimes where the solution the corrective action necessary to close out that finding would put undue stress paperwork and process on your organization that you simply don't need or want I'll tell you what you don't do for certain is argue with them on the merit of the finding the fact is this auditor has seen many organizations and many different scenarios and they understand a lot of good business practices and have more exposure to it than you probably ever will that's a good thing so this is definitely something to learn from when you see your auditor taking you down one of these trails but the objection that you want to have to those findings is provide me the evidence in the standard. Provide me the evidence. Show me where in the standard I am non-compliant. And they may babble some things off at you. So at that point, ask them to open up the standard and please show me the line where I am non-compliant. In doing so, you're going to force that auditor to question their own assumptions, to question their own preconceived ideas about how this audit should go and how your business should operate. And also in doing so, you're forcing the auditor to do what their job is, which is to audit you against the standard and not to provide consultation. Don't discount the auditor's opinion here. You may very well want to continue discussing this after the audit is over but you do want to ensure that none of your findings in that audit are because of this consultative idea that the auditor has, but instead expressly because the standard has a nonconformity uh, against it. 